Hey guys, I'm back with another exciting video and today we're going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge against the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The golden S7 Edge is running the Android 8.0 Oreo version while the S7 Edge, the black one, is running the Android 7.0 Nougat. So basically we're going to be testing out how much of a speed difference or improvement we have with the new Oreo update compared to the older Nougat. Already done a complete review of the Oreo talking about all the features and also how to install it on your phone. You can visit the link down below in the description. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, both phones are completely off and it's time to turn them on at the same time. So here we go. And again, just to remind you that we have Oreo on the left while the new good one is on the right. So uh, we've seen with the S8 family that Oreo does improve performance. So let's see if that's the case or not with the S7 Edge. And okay, so the Oreo S7 Edge much, much faster when it comes to booting up compared to the S7 Edge running on the Nougat. But what Samsung has done with the Oreo update on the S7 Edge is that they have transferred everything from the Galaxy S8, like the full experience UI is here for this phone. And right from the boot up, you can see the insane improvement we have. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right down to the app's opening. So first up, we have the phone dialer going in three, two, one, boom. And as you can see, faster on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I mean, the Oreo one was faster there. Again, the left one is on the Oreo, right one is on the Nougat. Settings, again, same result, the Oreo S7 faster. Next up, we have Instagram. And I think that was about the same on both phones. Maybe the Oreo S7 Edge was a little bit faster with the latest feed. Let's see my profile. And almost about the same. Moving on to some third party actions. So first up we have a uh, Subway Surfer game and let's see which one is going to be faster. Okay, S7 Edge, Oreo started loading it and it is done. Wow, that is a huge difference. I mean, we have same internals and this is the most powerful S7 Edge on the planet. It's the special black edition, 128 gigabyte uh, S7 Edge. It has the most amount of storage. So it's like the most powerful one. But you can see that Oreo is definitely bringing the A game of the Exynos 8890 processor inside of the S7 Edge, which is still pretty good. So next we have Photoshop Express and faster on the S7 Edge Oreo pinout. Same result, SoundCloud, faster on the S7 Edge Oreo. So far, not a single win for the uh, Nougat S7 Edge. You can see insane improvement in pretty much every area of the speed test so far. Spotify, Snapchat, Smash Hit. And that's about the same. Next we got Alto Game. And same result, Oreo faster again and again. I have to say the improvement is insane, guys. Play Store. And that was really quick on both phones. Again, felt a little bit quicker on the Oreo S7 Edge. But lastly, I'll be launching the cameras at the same time. So here we go. And that is about the same on both phones. And for a browsing action, so I'm using the Samsung Internet Browser on both phones. First up, we got wikipedia.org. And as you can see, okay, seems like the Nougat one just tiny bit faster there. So congratulations for that first small little win. Next we got WWE.com and okay, Oreo one clearly the first one to come to the website. And it also finishes up at the same time, but it was first one to come to the website. So scoring looks really smooth on both phones. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit choppy on the S7 Edge Nougat for some reason. If you notice, well, on the Oreo, it's uh, quite smooth. Time for the RAM measurement. So uh, let's see if the four GB of RAM is enough for all these applications or not. So first one is the phone dialer, kept there on the memory on both phones. Settings, still there. Instagram, still there. Subway surfers. Photoshop, Pinout, SoundCloud, Spotify, Snapchat, Smash Hit, Alto, 
And that's also still there. Play Store. And we're back to the internet browser. So multitasking is absolutely perfect on both phones. But overall, the Oreo Galaxy S7 Edge was miles ahead in other tests. It was faster in loading up games. It was faster in loading up all the applications. Pretty much all the applications that we opened were indeed faster on the Oreo S7 Edge. And also the boot up time difference was also quite a lot. So, and also the boot up time difference was quite a lot. So I can't wait Samsung to push the update to everyone's Galaxy S7 Edge because this is actually the leaked firmware that is currently now available on XT8, it requires a custom recovery. It is fairly stable, but I will say that wait a little bit if you can, because S7 Edge is now about to receive the Oreo update. They are done with the Note 8 and S8 almost. The update has reached most of the region, so uh, the Oreo will arrive on the S7 Edge after those flagship phones. So thank you so much for watching this speed test, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.